Now tonight's comment, and once again, life imitates art. I was just telling this story last night. It was one of the inspirations for the Worst Persons segment. The late great comic and friend of this program, George Carlin, used to joke about the fact that literally, statistically, somewhere on Earth, there had to be the world's worst doctor. And someone has an appointment to see him tomorrow. Well, we found him, Dr. Jack Castle. He is a urologist in Mount Dora, Florida. The photo that you will see in a second was snapped by a would-be patient and sent to the newspaper, the Orlando Sentinel. Dr. Castle put it up on his office door. If you voted for Obama, the sign reads, seek urologic care elsewhere. Changes to your health care begin right now, not in four years. It is bad enough that a physician could ignore the rules that are supposed to be the first things he learns, the ideas of doing no harm, treating those who need help, etc. But this weasel has tried to parse his way out of it. Contacted by the newspaper, Dr. Castle tried to finesse the thing. I'm not turning anybody away. That would be unethical, he said. But if they read the sign and turn the other way, so be it. Of course, this is a distinction without a difference, that the doctor is hiding behind his passive, aggressive, politics first, healing second idea does not change the fact that the photo was sent to the paper because a patient referred to Dr. Castle, saw the sign, and sought urologic care elsewhere just as the sign and the doctor told him to. The doctor even admits three of his patients complained to him about the sign. This is another case in which conduct by a conservative, his office is full of anti-healthcare reform flyers, he says he'd prefer not to treat people who support the president, and his wife is running for local office as a Republican. Behavior like that is considered perfectly acceptable, even admirable, by conservatives. But it is almost inconceivable to liberals. And before that is dismissed as partisan rhetoric. Remember the health care clinics you paid for? Nobody was asked their political viewpoint before they got care. It would have been unthinkable just as unthinkable as the fact that you and I, as laymen, have greater medical ethics than this barber in Florida, Dr. Castle.